if you place bacteria in a dish with some food on their left and none on their right, they will probably move to the left. But bacteria are single-celled organisms. They certainly don't have brains. How can organisms without brains make a decision? Bacteria are cells. Inside them, there are different proteins. These proteins are organized in a certain way so that messages pass between them, like a group of people talking to one another. Proteins pass a message like food into the cell where the message is changed into a response, such as swim towards the left. In the Clever Microbes exhibit, we're interested in understanding how these different pathways work. Now, cells can mutate. If this happens, the cell with the mutation is slightly different from the other ones. The interaction of proteins inside the cell might have changed. This new structure might be better at sending signals, and if so, the cell will be more successful at finding food. This ability to evolve over time allows bacteria and all other living organisms to adapt to their environment. In reality, we can't easily tell what has changed as a result of mutation. In order to understand this, we use a lot of maths, powerful computers and experimentation in the lab. We can generate many different models, each with a different set of possible pathways between the proteins. Using a simulation, we can predict how each model will react to its environment, and we can see which best matches the observed behavior. Once we've chosen the best model, it can be tested in the lab. These lab results help us to understand a little bit more about the way that bacteria behave, and the whole process starts again. In this way, we learn how bacteria react to their environments and evolve over time. A better understanding of the biology of bacteria gives us new insight into how to defend ourselves from infectious diseases.